Hey there, Justin Stone Diaz, and um, this is today's video blog entry for my 28 day challenge. Um, yeah, it's later today, later than I usually do the posts. Um, had a pretty full day um, and had some obstacles with um, YouTube earlier. Um, I produced these screenshot things and um, YouTube was fighting me on uploading and yeah whatever that's details that are unimportant but um yeah I'm used to doing these video blogs right after the meditation or a meditation session so it's interesting um, having um, a couple hours between when I did the practice and when I'm you know examining it um, yeah the um, cumulative um, nature of the practice is starting to kick in. Um, I, I've, I was mentioning a metaphor of like an, an old comfortable t-shirt um, of the way a, a clean t-shirt feels on a hot day and it's a little bit cool and comfortable and familiar. Um, and I'm getting to the point since I've been practicing daily for the past 14 days at least the breathing meditation in addition to my other sadhana practices I do um, with my nundro practices. Um, yeah, I'm seeing some really amazing... Um, and that was a public transportation meditation. Yeah, um... Yeah, so the um, cumulative uh, um, benefits of meditation, I'm just noticing it um, in my body postures. Um, I'm, it's, it's, it's nice not having to focus, or my it's, it's nice not having my attention drawn to the little you know, aches and things in my body. Um, it's, it's sort of like wearing an old pair of shoes that once you start um, practicing regularly, um, it's kind of, I can tell when I'm in the zone, when I'm, my body's kind of resting and, you know, properly positioned, um, because then the practice starts accelerating, at least my experience of the benefits. Um, yeah, and I'm really enjoying doing the guided meditation daily. Um, the structure is very good for me. Um, I have lots of other practices and empowerments and teachings I can work with. Um, and so I really was drawn to doing um, a structured practice like this um, in a group setting um, for that structure. Um, I'm having a little bit of unease with the speed of the techniques we're learning. Um, we're moving into week three. Um, and yeah, it was funny. I was listening to um, the guided meditations and I have them on a playlist and the meditation for working with emotions is right after the walking meditations um, and the instant the um, Sharon's voice came on and gave a little heads up about what the practice was about and um, how we would be dealing with um, emotions and sometimes strong emotions and I immediately went and shut it off because um, I'm realizing I, I'm I'm really finding comfort in the um, space I'm getting into with the daily meditation. But I know the feelings of uncomfortability um, are good. They are leading me to areas I need to work on. It's um, my ego not wanting me to work at those um, issues. Um, I'm also having a lot of um, previous impressions about Vipassana practice um, lift. Coming from the Tibetan tradition, there, there tends to be a little um, shit-talking between traditions, especially front, if you're in the Tibetan tradition, I've noticed. Um, and it's nice seeing the value of Vipassana. Um, yeah, because a lot of Tibetan um, teachings um, just kind of mention Vipassana as a step to other practices. Um, yeah, since I am a, ta a Tantra practitioner, there's a lot of stuff to work with and 
Um, it's nice getting the focus on the basics, um, the one-pointed meditation through the body meditation and the walking meditation. Um, having a lot of trouble with the meditations that there aren't um, audio. Uh, mindfulness with the J train. Um, yeah, so what I was saying is that um, I'm having trouble with the meditations that don't have audio. Um, I'm finding just my mind's having too many opportunities to go in other places and slip into other practices. Um, J train moment of mindfulness again um, yeah so um, I'm gonna talk to Sharon I'm gonna see her um, next weekend at her retreat at Menla Mountain with Bob Thurman and I'm gonna see if I can coax her into um, recording us the um, body scan meditation um, yeah um, if anyone's in the New York area um, and can attend the um, Working With Your Enemies workshop up at Menla Mountain Retreat, um, I'd love to see people up there and connect with people who are doing the 28-day um, challenge. If you haven't been to Menla Mountain before, it's an amazing experience, well worth the um, price of admission. Um, if you're from the area, they have this great commuter option. Um, where you can just pay for the tuition and the danya um, for the teachers and for your meals. Um, but it's a great program. I've attended um, two other versions of it in the past and look forward to the new things I'll learn. Because each time I've um, done the retreat, I've gotten a lot out of it. So look forward to people commenting on the video and giving it a thumbs up. Um, just take a moment after you're done viewing this and let me know what you think. If you don't like it, please let me know more than a thumbs down. Um, see you online and see you on the map.